what did the duck put on his burrito? Quackamole. <laughs> Quackamole, folks. My name is Ben, and this is Mario Speedruns. This is show number 33, and it is April the... What is it? April the 10th. April the 10th today. Our character, uh, Baldor, is a halfling rogue, and he's around 650 feet deep into the dungeon. We have a plan. We're going to go down to 12.50. It's fun and dangerous, folks. Fun and dangerous. We're going down deeper than we ever had before with this character. That's the plan. So I don't know if you've noticed, but for the past three or four episodes, I have been doing something different with the sound. The sound has been leveled. It's just an operation in audacity. Have you noticed anything has been better or worse? What do you think? If you notice nothing at all, then maybe I shouldn't do it. But if you have noticed, if you thought maybe it's a little bit better or maybe it's a little bit worse, please let me know because it's an extra step I don't have to do, you know. It's like, it's an extra thing. I hope that it was going to be an improvement. Maybe it doesn't work so well with the clacky, clacky sound of the keyboard. I don't know. Anyway. So, yeah, let's get playing. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let me show you what I'm standing on. I'm, sh I'm I've done some on the jigsaw puzzle. Hang on, we're gonna move. Here it is, almost done. Maybe one more day at it and I'll be done. There it is. So while we're here, let's just go for a walk. Here's my dirty floor. Here's a derpy looking uh, archeology span magazine. There's me and you, what, what, what? <laughs> There's some, uh, Electrical insulators, they're called. And yeah, here's the setup right here. This is where we're going to do the wheel of source code. <laughs> so I know the last wheel of source code had a bad edit in it. I know it. I saw it. I did it. It was not good. I strive to do better. I'm sorry. And we're going to do better. I don't like to put out crappy videos, so not that they're not crappy. You know what I mean. Obvious mistakes. Let's keep those to a minimum. Okay, spin it. What's it going to be? Fireball. That would be awesome. But it probably won't be. Here we go. Three, two, one, and stop. Find range. I know. I think I know what this is. It isn't a range of distance. Miss 3.c, 38 lines long. Find range. Maybe it is. Yeah. Finds range of item in an inventory list. So, when you say, uh, um, let's, let's just read it. We'll find out. I think it's like when you go to quaff a potion and it gives you, like, a T to Q or something. Does that make sense? No, Q to T. <laughs> or, uh, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the alphabet. All right, so what's it doing? It's returning a number. It's returning a flag. Flag is true sometimes. I don't know what this does. I'm going to have to walk this one through. Put on the thinking caps, folks. Watch Ben get it wrong again. <laughs> so... Finds range of an item in the inventory list. So what are these items? These items 1 and item 2 are t -vals. Look at that. See? We're checking it against t -vals right here. So we're passing two t -vals and we are filling up these two variables, these j and k variables. All right, okay. Um, so if uh, the item is one is this or that item kind so if it's like a potion and a scroll or a scroll then we say we found it Look at that found it and we set it to j the position of the thing so it's this spot in our inventory hmm if it's not that and not the other one then we're done okay so what it's doing is, okay, I now know what it's doing, okay. 
Um, passing two T vowels. And then J gets filled up with the first, the first uh, item that is a T vowel of that kind. And K gets filled up with effectively the last, the last one. That's what it's doing. And if, uh, let's see. If we still have a minus one, if if uh, we didn't find another thing on the end, this is just a special case on the end, where uh, uh, if K hasn't been filled up, we just make it the end of the uh, inventory. Whew. Okay, find range. It's everywhere. So you can see the kinds of things. So when it's just matching one, we have TV never in the second. Like me, I never watch TV. I download. <laughs> TV never. <laughs> I guess TV sometimes. There's staffs and wands. Staves and wands. Potion one, potion two. That's a holdover. We don't really need two t valves for that. Two books. Huh? Huh? Interesting. Interesting stuff. And when you go to eat, TV food. Which one do you want to eat? And then it says, oh, this one to that one. So those numbers in MIS-3, these numbers get converted to the letters later on. So the first book, this would be an A, this would be a zero, J would be filled up with a zero, and zero would equate to A. All right, that is find range of MIS-3.C in the GMAR resources. And that concludes... The Wii, you know what I'm saying, Wheel of Source Code. Howdy, you know where we're going. We're going downtown. <laughs> Here we are. Okay, level 21, a long way to go to level 22. We don't care about that because we're going to 1250. Fun and dangerous. Fun and dangerous, folks. So, I was thinking about changing my keyboard. Changing this thing. Um, maybe go with like a completely silent model. So I don't get any clicking sounds. The keyboard is awfully close to the uh, the microphone. So maybe a completely silent one would be better. Do you agree? I think so. Skeleton Orc. Let's hit him with our dagger. I don't know if we can survive down at 1250. I really don't know. It might be the worst move a halfling rogue can make. You know what? I think this guy can actually reduce our strength. Mm. So yeah, the uh, the strength thing is a problem because uh, we have this really heavy bar chainmail. See that? And uh, we don't have all that much strength. So when we get our strength dwindled, all of a sudden we become slow because we're moving around this huge armor and. Uh, yeah, we can't move fast. 
just too heavy for us. So uh, that's the trade-off with this stuff. That is the trade-off. We want more AC for uh, instead of the inconvenience of getting our strength sapped and moving slow. So that means we have to go up to the town a little bit more often. You see it. There's stairs. I see them right there. Over there, there's two of them. Oh, oh no. Oh no. This guy sucks. Just run away. Can't even run away. Got him. Thank goodness for arrows, folks. Eh, we'll pick it up. 700. I see another set of stairs. So that trade-off of wearing the bar chain mail, that's what it's called, right? Bar chain mail. Um, we're gonna try to undo that. We're gonna undo that trade-off by becoming stronger. Didn't I just pick up a potion of boldness or did I not pick it up? Oh my God, I just, just wasted a potion, folks. Didn't pick it up. So we're going to try to undo the uh, the trade-off, like I said, just by by going down 1250 and getting those strength potions. Bandit. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. Six arrows into this guy. Got him. And he didn't steal from us. I see stairs. 800 feet. Exciting. Metallic green potion. Well, we have space for that now, don't we? So we're going to go down 1250, get some strength potions, and we're going to get buff. Is that a word people use? <laughs> All right. 850. Limited strength. No stairs in sight. We're going to have to explore, folks. What is he? Oh, he can confuse us, can he? I feel safe because we're near stairs. He certainly hits for a ton. He's missing us more often because of our awesome bar chain mail. Look at that. We got him. What was he worth? One creature, 58. Did you drop anything? No. Giant red ant. Dislike those guys. Is he coming after me? Don't see him. Switch him back. I see stairs. All right. Oh, there he is. 
Well, I like those garnets. How did I know they were garnets? Blue icky thing. All right, he's got to be awake. Kills chart? Nah, we don't need to see the kills chart. And, oh, I thought we were there. Now we're there. Okay, 900 feet. 350 feet to go. All right. What are we going to find? Monsters, items, a big capital P, a frost giant. Okay. Frost giants can shatter stuff on our pack, like our word of scroll of recall. I don't know if he's awake. Should have wakened him first. Now he's awake. He should be coming through that door. There he is. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. Okay, good, good spot. Where is he? Where'd he go? There he is. He's up the other path. Oops. Four arrows left. Killed. That was fun. I see. I gotta pick up these. Money is so important in the game. Ooh, a ring. Searching, no thanks. Leave that red worm mass alone. See any stairs? I sure don't. Ooh. I don't know what to do about this big capital. I think I've died to those guys before. Let's just dump all of our arrows into them. One. Did it. That was fun. What did I get for him? 111. Not bad. Only 30 points for him. We'll leave him alone. We're trying to get somewhere. We're trying to do something here. We're trying to get to 1250. I dislike stuck doors. Still no stairs. Come on. We're going to have just a a mass of monsters following us because we're not killing them. 
You do know that's what happens, right? You are getting hungry. All right, how's our light? Fill up our light. All right. My kingdom for some stairs, folks. Come on. I hate those stuck doors. You must have this level just about cleared. Not gonna go that way. What's that? Sleep monster. Stairs are over here, I just know it. A ring. Calcite ring. What do we want to get rid of? Probably the hard leather cap, eh? Max Wisdom? Nah, we don't need to see that. What we do need to see are stairs. That's what we need to see, and there's no stairs over here like I thought there would be. Ah. Money. Quickly now, we'll just grab that. There's a fly buzzing around in here. Sure sign of spring. Uh-oh. They're awake. Dicking around with these monsters. Toe to toe. Watching our eight points. Got him. Clean up this icky thing and then we can find some stairs. Quickly, there's no time. That's Liam Neeson. That's my best Liam Neeson impression. There are the stairs. Near a novice rogue. Ugh. Can't let him get too close. There he is. Another ring. Alexandrite ring. What are we going to get rid of this time? I don't know. Um... Hmm. Ring of tele teleportation is useful. We won't get rid of that. Um, hmm. I don't know. I want to keep everything. Hmm. I don't know. I have no idea. Let's get rid of neutralize poison. 
because we can cast that spell. Oh, still can't get there. Nine hundred and fifty feet, folks. Stay away from that radiation eye. Well, there's no easy stairs here. Ooh, we got a news. Oh no. Oh no. Oozes are bad. We did get a foil out of it. Alright, we got a color quits here, folks. We got the 950. That's the best we can do. We have these rings. I wonder what they are. I wonder what they are. We don't have any scrolls of identify. Black Mamba. He can, I think, blind us, can he? Very sick. M B E. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of that nice potion. A. <laughs> Hit by falling rock. Comedy of errors here. All right, we're better. Stairs the wrong way. We'll find one more set of stairs, folks. Stairs. And we're done. We are done if I can just do that. There we go. Ugh. Thousand feet, only 1250 to go. It's fun and dangerous. We're running out of battery up here. Look at that battery. So yeah, that's that. Let's uh, see how our senior rogue shapes up in the charts. The lost town of Dunluce. Wouldn't it be neat if there was like a, a an abandoned town somewhere in the dungeon? And it got sunnier out here, so this is a bit strange. Okay. Ugh, it happened. What do I do? There it is. <laughs> Let's take a look at Beldor. Dungeon depth is going to be interesting. We're going to see ourselves go to the deepest level yet. Here it is. <laughs> I added the sound effect. Pretty good level. Uh, we're not going too steep here on that. Nice stair step going there. Might be leveling off though, eh? A sure sign that we're at a too, too shallow of a depth. Gold pieces up and up and up. All right, gold. We're doing pretty good with gold. And uh, let's take a look at Geez, I want to know what our what those rings are. Calcite and Alexandrite. And I want to identify everything. Oh, I wish we could identify. So, Beldor's been alive for almost 13 days in the dungeon. 13 days. Almost two weeks. He's been playing for 10 hours and 14 minutes. We have been playing for 10 hours. 1,000 is our lowest depth. Noggle went down to 2550, which is entertaining, no? <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, we're up, we're almost to Mr. Magoo there. 
Level 21. 1500 kills. No dragons yet, but we could see some at 1250. Young ones, small ones. Um, highest hit points, 154, not bad. AC, we're doing okay on the AC, folks. Objects picked up, gold, way low on gold, and the all-important score. Alright, what happened? I guess we picked up those rings. Those rings have somehow increased our score. That must mean they're pretty good rings. Look at that. Very interesting. Huh. Ah, there I am. <laughs> hmm, I always kind of wonder what, uh, what the key command is to go to this camera. <laughs> like so. <laughs> wow, I'm very dim and it's weird. So, uh, where do we go from here? We're going to go deeper to uh, 1250 and we're going to hang around 1250. In the last game, with what's his name? I just said his name and I can't remember it. Morel, was it? Noggle. That's what it was. Noggle, uh, we just went shoop, right past uh, the uh, 1250 gain stat potion spot. That was bad. <laughs> Turns out we need those. <laughs> need those if you want to win, if you want to be able to hit the Balrog at all. Because you remember, we were hitting them, we were swinging, but we weren't hitting. So we need to max out certain stats. Uh, strength being one of them. So maxing out our constitution can't hurt either. So we're going to do that. Yeah. On a personal note, I did not do my uh, half marathon walk a day. <laughs> the polar vortex showed up and ruined everything. And I wimped right out. It was torture. Torturous. Uh, you know, with a cutting wind. It's just a bad idea. So now winter seems to have lost its footing. And I'll be able to begin this again. So uh, maybe sometime in the next week I'll start it up again and do my feet some uh, serious damage. Okay, so that's that. Uh, yeah, so let me know about the leveling. Did the leveling work? Is it better? Is it worse with the keyboard? I don't know. Let me know. So uh, yeah, that's that. I hope your game's going well. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.